Hi, this is Chris Switzer from Motormouth Radio and Ray Guarino from Motormouth Radio. We're here in Eisenhower Park at the first annual Nassau County Cruise to the Show. Cruise to the Show. Put up and sponsored by our county executive, Ed Mangano, who yes. did a great job, a bang-up show. Any number of clubs in this island would be proud to have a show of this magnitude, not only for their 10th, for their 10th show. Mm -hmm. And this is a first-time event. It's absolutely flooring how many cars are here, how many people having a good time. He had a great turnout. It is amazing. The cars, there were over how many? 500 cars? Oh, there's hundreds, probably probably yeah. over 500 cars here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it, the weather was good, the people were great. Ed has a, a wonderful staff working behind him, and the substance definitely showed here. At the, at the show. Oh, cars from every, every uh, from the Alco Racer from the early 19, 18, late 1800s right up to uh, modern day vehicles were here. We were fortunate enough to feature Ed's liaisons on our radio show, Motor Mouth Radio. And uh, a few weeks ago we got the ball rolling and we uh, helped them with a little bit of advertising. And they were, they were nice enough to let us, invite us down and ask us to help them with some of the, uh, the duties of the day. Right, right. They put us to work. Yeah, they certainly put us to work. We were involved in the judging process. We have those kind of faces where we just <laughs> we show up and they make us work. That's okay, <laughs> because for for the for the crew that put the show together, I would do it again tomorrow. Not a, not a problem. And it was a very unique way of getting the cars here this morning, correct? Yes, it was because everybody lined up behind the courthouse on Old Country Road, mm. and then one of our jobs was to help get the cars out in in an orderly fashion, and they all cruised down Washington uh, Washington Avenue, Stewart Avenue, right. to the park. We arrived at the park, and an hour later, there were still cars coming in. That's how many cars were in that line. It was fantastic. It was, yeah, it was totally unbelievable to see and to be a participant in a parade of classic cars, just to watch all the people that were sitting down like on the curb, just watching all of these cars parade down Stewart Avenue. It was just magnificent. It was incredible. It's a testament to the work these men did. They worked long. Actually, they put it together faster than some car clubs I know could put together a show. But the dedication of the guys behind Mr. Mangano was stellar. They worked their tails off, and it shows. I mean, if you can look at the crowd and, and see, it's absolutely uh, just a stellar performance by all involved. And it's true. We like to be here at Motor Motormouth Radio. really feels that we were a participant in getting this together by spreading the word on our show and bringing the liaisons on our show and it was just it was just a good time and a good team that put together a fantastic event and we're looking forward to next year yeah we're just uh you know we're small guys at a local radio show out of nassau community college and uh you can find us at motormouthradio.com on the web and uh, we like to pride ourselves in being champions of the local Guy. Now, obviously, the county executive is is, the, is as top of a local guy as you can get. Mm -hmm, but we work with all the car clubs, too, with the small clubs, the guys that have a, a first event that maybe draws 25, 50 cars. We work with them as well. That's our, our thrust is to work with the car community no matter who you are. Did anybody, did anybody recognize you when you were uh, trafficking cars out of the lot this morning? As a matter of fact, some people, it held up the line because people were, hey, you're the Motormouth guy, and I was wearing a staff shirt. I wasn't wearing my Motormouth radio shirt. Right. We weren't wearing these shirts now. That's true. Face is made for radio, folks. That's, <laughs> but it's, it's nice because people do respond. And it's true, there were some car clubs that were actually aiming for Ray. Yeah. Yeah, one of my old, one of my old clubs, the Impala Club, the guys were actually kind of gunning for me in the line there, and I, I jumped out of the way. They didn't get me. They didn't get me. They didn't, they didn't turn on you, not completely. Too fast for them. <laughs> Too fast for them, but that's, uh, it's all in good fun. It's all in good spirit, and that's, that's the nature of these people. Car guys are some of the best guys and women you ever want to meet. They'll go out of their way for you. They, they respond to charity causes. Uh, they show up en masse yeah. for a show that has a, uh, a, a good cause, and uh, just great people to be around. We're happy to be part of that community. And we're happy, and we would love to thank Ed Mangano for letting us help him here uh, at the Eisenhower Park Car Show this uh, this August 15th. Absolutely. We look forward to being back next year and working with him on the next rumination of this show. Well, hopefully I can't imagine how it'll be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, hopefully it'll be national. Right. That'd be great. We'd be, we'd be happy to be involved with that. That's Ray Guarino. I'm Chris Switzer, and we are part of Motormouth Radio that you can hear every Thursday and Sunday from noon to 1 on 90.3 WHPC in Garden City. Thank you.
and MotormouthRadio.com. That's it. We're good. <laughs>